Good evening, folks. This is Wesley and Leo and I with ALGW Outdoors, and I'm going to show you guys how I reline my bait caster. Yeah, and I'm going to show Liam, you. I think, is going to show you something else. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to fit. Because <laughs> I'm with these baits. These well, are we're pond. not at a pond. I'm, I'm, I'm pretending how to. Oh, you're pretending? Yeah. Okay. Cause Don't this, knock the thing over. Because this bait. You have to, you have to cat, cause it's a bluegill bait. So little bluegill, it's a, called a ribbon fish. <laughs> I call it that. You call bluegill ribbon fish? Why don't you stand back so you can actually be on camera? Stand over here by dad. Okay. I got, I got this, it's a little ribbon, it's a little. Little curly tail. That's not what, I, I call That's not what you call it? Yeah. Okay. I, I call it. A fish, a fish worm. I call it a fish worm. He calls it a fish worm. I'm yeah. just stripping the old line off. Hey, why not? I'm going to show you how to fish, but after he's doing something. The line's curly. Yes, it is. So I'm going to show you how to catch some fish. Not right now when he's done. He's done doing his thing. <laughs> Yeah, we went kit fishing today. We didn't catch anything. Uh, and we did some other stuff around the house. It might be a double upload today. Okay, this is what I found. <laughs> Alright, did that the easy way. So, make sure you have your line, your rod, your reel. Alright, your three basics. I go ahead to make it a little bit easier and run it through all my eyelets. And I got this fish, so I'm going to show you how to take it off. You start of doing this. And... Now I just drop the spool on, my, on the floor. Hey, just drop it. There you go. I just leave it on the ground. It's fine. I have to put it here, so. Okay, I'm going to show you how to take it. So and then what I've done. I'm going to show you how to take it off. My bait caster. I don't know if it's the wrong way to do it or not. It, but my spool has those little holes in it. Here so I just go ahead and wrap inside those. See, that's how you take it off. You take it off. Instead of going all the way around it, I've changed this line a couple times, never had any problem with it, doing it that way. The difficult part is getting it through there. You might want to try. I had to do this before the last time I did this. Take your reel off. And take your fish off. And do. And that can sometimes make it easier. If that's too much trouble, then just go ahead and wrap it around the actual spool. Because then you're going to be able to come out the back. I'm going to show you how to put it back. And push it right back through. Hey, look. This is how you do it. You put it here. And, and then what I had to do, take a little, take my clippers. I don't clip the line or anything. I just use that tab to snag the line. Hey, that's how you cut it on. That's how you cut it on. But you got a fish. That's how you get a fish because it has these. And I just had everything slip all the way back through on me. So I got to do it again. Okay, this fish is like that. 
that's how you got it on. And just... I gotta re-snag the line. And I have to redo it. Hopefully. This is how you do it. So this is how you catch a fish. You, you see the hook? It's right here. The hook right here. So... You can eat it. Can I what? Okay, finally got that. And all I do is the same knot that I use to tie my lures. The twist clinch knot, whatever the heck it's called. Twist it around seven or eight times. Uncle Brandon, I'm guessing. Put it through. I put it under, yes, then go and through. Here. So, I'm guessing that's true. Pull it tight, and then pull it tight again to make sure that that knot stays. And I clip off the excess, like I said, just like I'm tying on a lure. Put your reel back in its seat if you had to take it off. If not, you're fine. Tighten it down, start reeling. That spool will go everywhere. Keep some tension on it. Now me, I'm just learning how to use a bait caster. I've, I've been using this thing maybe five months or so. So I don't put a whole bunch of line. Like this was, this was about a half of a spool, which originally was a 330 yard spool. So I'm just gonna get a good size spool on here. This is 17 pound strand monofilament. Sorry, the spool got wrapped around the tripod. And then when you think you're just about done, what I do. For me, that's plenty of line. And I go ahead and clip at least enough to where you're gonna be able to attach, you know, if you wanna put a lure on your on the top of your reel there, or if you wanna have enough line to attach it to one of your eyelids, or if you have a a keeper right here on the side of your rod. A lot of the rods nowadays have a keeper on one side or the other. Or if you want to leave enough, depending on what you're throwing, or you can just stick it in your foam or your cork or whatever you have. Uh, you can do it that way. So that's it for now. No, have fun respooling oh, your reels. Oh, now Liam's gonna show you how to do something. Yeah, but you have to move it right there. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a fishing video. You're gonna do a fishing video? Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to fish. You're gonna show them how to cast? Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to cast and fish. Don't hit the cars. You go like, you do that, and then you keep moving it. Cause then when you, and then when it, cause you keep moving it, cause it's, cause it's. Ooh. <laughs> cause this is not a live bait. This is a fake, a fake bait, so you have to, Keep moving it. Well, that's a moving bait, yeah. You have to keep moving this bait. Cause, cause this, cause fishing, cause it, cause it's a moving bait. Plastic bait or moving bait? Well, that's a plastic bait, but the way you're explaining it, you're throwing it like a moving bait. Yeah. But 
Is it a, a, a stain bake? Well, you, that's a soft plastic, so generally, I mean, you can fish it as a moving bait, but generally you want to throw that out, let it sit at the bottom for a little bit, and twitch it, and then reel in your slack, and then you can twitch it or jig it, and then you reel in your slack, and you just do that. You keep doing that until you get a fish or until it gets back to you. Then you throw it out again, and you just keep twitching along the bottom after it hits the bottom. And you reel it in, reel in your slack a little bit, and you twitch, and reel in your slack, and you just keep doing that over and over again. Anything else you want to say? Yeah. Okay, don't hook yourself. That's what I want to say. He's trying to teach himself a Texas rig. He's seen me do it enough times. Yeah, but that... Don't stick that thing in your thumb. Start at the top. That's your top. Yeah, but it, ha but it has a rip. Yeah, well that lure, you've been casting that out in the yard, practicing. Maybe I should take this bait off. No, no. Start at the top. No, at the top. Like this. Don't hook your finger. Right. You're so shaky. You look like you drank like 50 cups of coffee. That's it. <laughs> Are you done? Okay. <laughs> so he's done. That's what a four-year-old no, does. That's a, no, no. That is annoying. <laughs> that's what happens when you're trying to teach a four-year-old how to do things when it comes to fishing. See you guys later. Get out and catch something. <laughs>